All right, so wait, where are we going again? We are going... You discovered that the real enemy is not Saren, but a reaper called Sovereign. A sapient warship of tremendous power, Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the conduit. The key to unleashing a new reaper invasion on the galaxy. It doesn't tell me where to go. Okay, so it says report to the council uh, to warn them of Sovereign's plan to attack Citadel. So the council... So that's the case. We have to go the back update to the Citadel commander. We got confirmation oh. on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. That's good. We should do that. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. So this is where I was going anyways. Well, at least that's where I was headed to. And now we have everything we need to do a full-out assault on Sovereign. At least all the information. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. No worries. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Uh... Wait, what about Ilios? I don't know what Ilios is, but... It kind of sounds like they're un under def uh, underdefended. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside oh, wait, the never mind. Systems Commander. <laughs> if we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. So, uh, what about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Fact. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Well, all right then. What about the Conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. The Conduit is real. If Saren finds the Conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. So we're, we're attacking Ilos then. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! <laughs> it's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. I feel like I'm a 12-year-old boy. I'm grounded. What does that mean? This is a mistake. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? That is true. it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. What if he's a part of it, too? Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Uh... How did you know I was here? Are you spying on me, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. The Flux Capacitor? Alright, so let's take her since she's pretty much already maxed out but let's take let's just take my squad why not right I feel like I take them everywhere equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere Log, Who's this? the commanding officer is ashore exo Presley has the deck that was weird some random mechanic is just chilling on the elevator let me through. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced. Not gonna lie, I already forgot where I'm supposed to go. Is finally returning a profit. Hold on, I gotta check my log, cause I already forgot where I'm going. <laughs> uh, the wards at Flux. Flux. All right, I gotta remember Flux. 
The wards is around here, isn't it? Um. How do I know where to go? The only problem with this place is that it's... It's kind of too big and there's no easy way to get around. I wish there was like a map. Let me see, hold on. I mean, I guess this does help. Okay, so... Traffic control. So I guess over here? We talked to Jaheed. I guess it won't hurt to look. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way. Alright, so there's that little exclamation mark. So he should be in here. Let's talk to him and see what he wants. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Uh, afraid so. I found out you've been <clears throat> lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? <laughs> Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Yeah, that's not how this works. Uh... It's okay. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. Good! I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Good! That's good! Now for the, uh... real thing and getting to... Flux. Gotta get to the flux capacitor and I don't even know how to get there. So this is definitely not it. There was a keeper up there. I know I'm supposed to technically be scanning them, but... I don't know. I just don't feel like scanning, going around scanning keepers. So let's see here. So we came from there, right? So let's try going... In remembrance of Eden this way. Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatti. Yeah, 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 let me get out of here. A devoted wife and... I want to check the map while I'm up here. And see if it shows me something new. Um... So what is this? Profit dispute informed the CSEC officer? Uh, where does it say wards or anything like that? I don't know. I guess we could go check on that one dude. Hold on, is this the way? Yeah, see, this is super confusing. So then if I go around this way... If I take the speeder, would it take me to the wards? Oh, wards locations. Perfect. Flux. Excellent. That worked out perfect, actually. I'm glad I remembered about the little fast travel thing. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Uh, I'm listening. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Cut the act. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Hold up. Wait a minute. What about the negotiation? Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Uh, what's this drug? What is this stimulant exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. No, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Getting you your drug fix isn't high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. Okay, well, maybe you should get reprimanded or demoted there, troop, because doing drugs on the job is not a good thing. Who am I going to be talking to exactly? Well, that's not what I want. Journal, is there anybody in particular? No. Dude, I have a... I have a ton of assignments. Uh... I'm not sure... Okay. Where's Captain Anderson? Oh, found him! I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard you. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you, uh, Udina sold me out with all of his politics and everything, man. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. It's really not that simple, dude. I kind of sort of don't have a ship. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy Oh, he's systems. staring at the camera. If we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. And what happens to you if we do this? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. What about the crew? They're kind of important too, you know? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Thank you, I appreciate that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Teleportation. Just make sure you're <laughs> in the Normandy when the systems come back online. It's dangerous, man. You sure? You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. A capital offense. Damn. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh, I'm going to let him make the decision. You decide. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the Ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Absolutely. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Yes, sir. Now I have yet another issue. I need to remember how to get back to the ship. I swear, the, uh, the Citadel is a literal maze. So where's this fast travel thing? Is this where I came from? Excuse Honestly, me. I don't think so. You're the Spectre, right? Nope. Remove Not me. <laughs> I just... I just completely ignored him. Right now, I'm too hype, and I really want to go to Ilios, or, uh, Elos, or Ilos, or whatever. 
I want to figure this place out. So, Presidium locations. Uh. Hold on. Wards locations. Shores Den markets are right, back. It's got to be Presidium locations. I just don't know if it's the... Let's try embassies. It won't hurt to look. Perfect. That was literally perfect. Alright. So let's go back downstairs. So that we can get on the Normandy and blast off. I wonder what's going to happen to uh, Captain Anderson. If it's really looked at as treason, plans to direct then he's, cast members. he's screwed the even if we're right. He would have to get pardoned specifically for his treason. Act in inconspicuous, guys. Even though you look just like him. Station on Novaria has reported Garrus. Destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. Okay. Even the research can Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, right? Oh god, here goes. Ilios or Il Il Ilis? I I don't know. Alright. The the I word. Stand by here we come. Decontamination in progress. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that name, by the way. Oh, he is in here. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't say. Oh. Ooh, I got a newfound respect for him. If you're gonna go out, you're gonna go out swinging. Let's go, Joker. Blast off. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Oh, this is exciting. Blasting off. We're officially out of there. So I guess we need to find Ilos. So let's get all the way back. Ilos, right there. I found it already. That wasn't very difficult, was it? Okay, so refugee, travel to another system, absolutely. Go ahead and slingshot me down to another dimension. I'm gonna assume it's that one right there, but I kinda wanna click on this and find out what this is. I swear, I think I've been playing Elder Scrolls too much because I thought that first word was in Argonian. But if you guys want to read it, uh, feel free to push pause on that, and uh, you guys can read it. Uh, same with this one. I'm just gonna go to Ilos. Uh, I do want to read this one. In the golden age of the Prothe of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arcs of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the, the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its uh, entire surface changed to the color of rust. That's, that's gross. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen, wildfires presumably uh, ignited by lightning strikes can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, uh, res that, that word, animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Alright, let's land. This is a a new animation, isn't it? It's interesting that it's showing me a new way to travel. Whoa, look. <clears throat> what is that, a block eight? Ah, uh, come 
Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 Damn. meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Oh, snap. Joker's got some down to the balls. Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Oh, my God. Oh, I... <laughs> Rest in peace to my crewmates. Ah, uh, it still hurts me. I feel so bad. Oh, snap! You Here goes. Keep moving inside now. Oh my god, literally dropped on top of him. At least we made it. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. So... Uh, hey, what are you doing? I need you to back away. Should I just get in the Mako? Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, I don't think I can get out of there in the Mako. So, I'm probably going to end up having to turn that around again, aren't I? Who's shooting at me? You! What is he doing? He's like 100% glitching out. Oh, snap! I need to be careful. I have no shield right now. Alright then. I need to figure out how I'm gonna take these guys out. Get away! Oh, dude. Garrus just got blasted. I think I could do this. I just gotta do this slowly. Can you stop getting in my way before I commit fratricide? I already killed two of my friends. Definitely don't want to kill another. Bingo. Uh, decryption too low. Sorry, I can't do that one. There's definitely someone else right around the corner. Let's open this one, though. Uh, Armageddon. That that one. I'm getting this only because it's such a high Roman numeral. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Where is this guy? Is he downstairs? Well, I don't know where that guy... Oh, there's a couple of them. Found him! Nice. Let's go ahead and cool down our weapon. I see you. Uh... 
Uh, yeah. No. Got it. Bingo. That was an accident. It's okay, it takes light years for it to blow up anyways. Yep, I think he's dead. Absolutely obliterated that guy. Is that another one? Dunzo! Alright, he's definitely dead. Sit down. Hurry up and cool down. Alright, good. One down. Where are they? Oh, one's coming. You know, the sniper's actually pretty legit. But, this is just better. It's definitely my cup of tea. I think I see a box. Easy decryption? Sure. And got it. Uh... Sure. I don't really want any of that, but okay, I'll take it. I'm not entirely sure what any of this is. I mean, it, I have to be, I have to come this way, right? Let me see here. That's decryption too low. I bet you we're gonna get ambushed here in a second. Huh, let me look at the map. There's definitely a way over here. Oh, this right here. But is this where it came from? It is. So that's where it came from. Then logically, the only place to go is this way. Oh! Oh my god, dude, I feel, I feel dumb. Alright, let's go up here. Where are we going? I know we're trying to figure out a way to open that door, but... This place is huge. It's kind of confusing to get to navigate through sometimes. Hold on. We legit did a full circle. We legit did a full circle. So let's try going this way then. This side's a little too quiet for my liking. There's gonna be something that goes on here soon. I just know it. Okay, so this is a dead end. Oh, dude, look at my mini-map, dude. There was a ton of people there. We're definitely gonna get jumped here in a second. The good thing is that my little mini-map, unless it's getting hacked, does a very good job at telling me when there's enemies around. Here goes nothing. Ah. You know what? This is a good time for this gun. One down. Face shot. 
done so for that guy. Get out of my way, Garrus. He's down. He's down. Bingo. Garrison has sniper rifle, man, I swear. What's the plan from down here? Oh, wait. Door control. What does this do? I mean, obviously, it's an elevator, but... I was worried about where I where it went. Apparently nowhere. Okay, so screw that. Oh, I can't even jump down. There's a sniper there. Okay, so I kind of want to snipe him. I see you, boo. What are you doing? Oh, that's a sapper. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, I guess I have to take the elevator down since uh, Shepard's too scared to jump down. We're definitely here unsanctioned and everything, dude. We're definitely gonna get in some serious trouble when we get home. Better not snipe me. Where are they at? Oh wait! Get away from me! I hate those jumpers, man. Ooh! Yes, they're both down. Good job, guys. That was absolutely spectacular. Get out of there. Where are you taking the elevator? To my death, probably. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. This place feels oops. To me. And not just because of the gas. If you say so, Garrus. Right now, I'm more worried about destroying some enemy troops before we get destroyed. See? Just like that. Let's go. Yikes. Next to you, guys. Next to you. Must I do everything? Yikes, that dude was fast. Get away from her. What's two? Got him. I'm pretty sure I killed everyone in this room. There you go, Ashley. You're much better now. Also, I'm a little scared. Do, does Ashley have perks? I do. I guess I'll put it into here. And then she can get some more assault rifle training. And then he can also get some assault rifle training. Perfect. Now they're a little bit more efficient in combat. At least theoretically. Can I not go in here? Garrus, get out of my way. I can't even aim at it. It's green, so it should work, right? There's gotta be a way. Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me. 
that's that's what I had to do. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on, something's happening. Too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. Uh oh. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. I understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Uh oh. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. I'm only getting small bits. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. That sounds horrible. Oh wait, I could go up higher? I should probably get my gun out just in case. Hello? Okay, so going up was absolutely useless. Alright, so there's nothing else here, it seems. Alright, let's get out of here. Yep, absolutely nothing. I wonder if I can now go through the bottom side now. Let's try it. Won't hurt to look. Okay, so it has a little flag, so I'm sure that means that I'm going the right way. Bingo! See what the next hit spot is. Wow, this is a long elevator ride. I wouldn't touch anything. I'm not. It feels like we're being watched, not by the gap. This place feels wrong to me. Not just because we can. Hold on, we just. Okay, so we did full circle. So that means. We should be able to just run back to the car, right? To the Mako? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, now I gotta figure out... Oh, this thing is so difficult. Okay. At least we made it through. Finally. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. He must have been in too much of a hurry. Well, we just haven't to <laughs> What is going on? Oh my god. This thing is an absolute atrocity, I swear. Absolute atrocity. Whoever thought of that should be fired. I'm just kidding. But still. This is a long straightaway. What are those things in the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis. For what? Humans? What was that? Oh, they're shooting at me. Are they all dead? Dude, that was easy. Oh! See you later, alligator. I have this thing where everyone has to die. I don't know why. Really, Shepard, you have got to be the worst driver in history of humanity. By Shepard, I mean me. What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind. 
So how do I get out of here? Let me set up my vehicle. Turn. All right, screw it. I'm leaving it right there just like that. Get me out of here. Hello? What do you think we're going to find down here? Canadians? I'm not putting faith in anybody being on our side. Not anymore. I mean, it, I mean, that's kind of fair if our old people don't trust us. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do but. not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait so this is the good guy. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Uh, what are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. What do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. The Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Oh, that. That doesn't sound good. Uh, Reapers in Dark Space. How do the Reapers survive out in Dark Space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. That... I don't know. Let me see. Citadel Relay. How come That's nobody relay. ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. So, maybe I should have scanned the, Reap the, uh, the Keepers. Saren's going to activate it. If he turns on the relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Damn. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. You didn't surrender? The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. 
the extinction of all advanced organic life. Damn. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. So why did they do this? What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You know what, Touche? What, why did they leave? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Uh, so then how can I stop them? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor into the Citadel. They didn't find you? How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. That's strange. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. Yeah, that I explains was programmed the to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So you just hit? You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? That's monstrous. You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non essential That's crazy. staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left. Far too few to sustain a viable population. You don't say. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Uh, what about the conduit? 
I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the Conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Uh... Unless Saren succeeds. Saren can use the Conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Can you help me? Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Uh... Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. That is legitimately crazy. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. They could just attack. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. I bet you that one politician is one. Has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. All right, let's move. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Enough said. Let's hurry. So where... Where's the conduit? He didn't actually say where the conduit was. Or did he? I don't know. One thing's for sure. So many races looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. We can get there in time. Their plan only fails if we do. And I've come too far to watch Saren win. Amen there, girl. So at least now we can continue driving. We're no longer trapped. Saren, we're coming for you, buddy. There's enemies here. Oh, God. Die. Dunzo. This thing is so hard to maneuver. It's insane. All right, let me see here. Okay, hold on. I gotta get my bearing here. There we go. It's 
flawless. Oh, it takes Omni Gel to fix the. Would you just go back? Go away. Oh, snap. Shoot. Oh, God. They have to go. What's up, baby? Let's go. You want some of this? Okay. Oh, God. Yep, there was no escaping that one. Dunzo. So much for your little shield there, guy. Yep, I couldn't kill him with my normal gun, so I just decided to blast him. Needless to say, uh, that did the job. Go. It's kind of funny going back to like an older game and just see how far we've gone, uh, gone since old games. That was a good juke. Although some of the other ones have still hit me. I bet there's more people down there. I knew it. Who could have predicted this? Zigzag, baby. That definitely worked, too. Oh, whatever's happening is happening right there. Never mind, that's just a fire. I was just kidding. Oh! It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. I guess I was right. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh my god! Oh my god! Activate the defenses! Seal the station! The arms aren't moving! System's not responding! Hello! Evacuate the council! Citadel control! Citadel control, do you copy? Oh my god. 37? Conduit closing? Oh my god. I'm not gonna bother attacking. Get out of the way. Aw, oh, baby, let's go. Did I, did I make it? They just launched the actual Mako. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Not gonna lie, that was hilarious that we just launched the Mako.